Hello. Hello! Welcome back to Rock Bottom. Come back. What, what is this? this? Look at Cortex. Look at Cortex. Ah, oh, he's so pretty. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen when you walk in here. No. So, uh, we, um... We already completed the stage, but uh, but the footage was bad, so so I thought, well, let me go back and redo it. But let me redo, let me do the, uh, with the death route. Let me do the death route. The death route. That shitty movie with Jason Statham. Well, that's Death Race. Yes, but shitty. Still fun. shitty. Still shitty, Jason. Um, shitty Jason. Shitty Jason. Oi! Don't call me that. Oi, Mike. Oi! Don't call me that. Uh, I, I still you like Jason Statham. Yeah, I do. I this guy's clipping through the wall over there. Yeah. <laughs> I still, I still would have wanted him to play Aquaman. No. Oi, Manta. Oi. Oi, Superman. Get, get your fucking hands off him. Superman, you get your fucking hands off him. Get your fucking hands off him, man. Oh, God. <laughs> Some real clips going on there. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. Give it. Give it, man. Ah. <laughs> Oh. Very apropos. Uh, I do we feel the wall. We, we just we just talked about uh, yes. Just talked about Darth Plagueis. Darth Plagueis. Oh, oh. Why did you do that? I had spent too much time on. Just the, swim up and crash. <laughs> yeah, of all the things the crash cannot do, <laughs> just like just like Darth Plagueis, with all the power you have, you can still not stop yourself from dying. Crash, come on. Now we we talked about Darth Plagueis, the uh, the novel. Uh, right before when I when I played up to up to this point, and I, I've I've been listening to it uh, as an as an audio book. It's just audio book. It's really cool. Yes, you said it's really cool. I really like. I I haven't gotten very far yet, but it's super cool. You described it to me to the point where I'm gonna go home and find it for myself. <laughs> this is not a brain deal, but uh, but seriously, seriously, if you haven't, uh, but seriously, if you're out there, <laughs> no. sponsor us. <laughs> Audible sponsors a lot of uh, a lot of YouTubers. That's that's why I got a free trial. Audible is an amazing. Amazing <laughs> website. I've heard. I do not know this. Casper, can you tell me a little something about Audible? Yes, it's uh, it's hassle free. You get thirty days. It's what? If if you don't like it, you can just. <gasps> you saved my life. No. It's hassle free. If you don't if you don't like it, you can just cancel your subscription. You don't have to pay a thing. It's uh, it's amazing. It's free. But and and the uh, and the narration is is awesome. I, I, I talked about this. You, you you didn't know the guy, but if you have ever watched, there's, there was a show in the '90s called like the Nanny or something in English. I, I don't remember, but it was um, it was it was one of these family sitcoms with, and, and uh, there was this uh, little '90s sitcom. There was. You're this. not gonna make that. <laughs> no. It was a '90s sitcom, and there was a sassy butler called Niles. Niles. Niles, and he narrates this Darth Plagueis book. It was really, really good. He's not sassy in that, right? No, but he's sort of he's very refined in the way he speaks, and it suits. Does it he suits. have a British accent? No, he's not a Brit. He's American. He's American. But but it really suits oh, the mood of the uh, of, of of the story. The book quite well. Yeah, because of how, what what Plagueis is, and I, I talked about this. Plagueis is the one who, who researches like eternal life and stuff, and he does it by eternal life and stuff. Yeah, but and he does it by by employing a lot of sort of life. Uh, hey, Plagueis, is this is this your eternal life books? No, no, those are my stuff books. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he does it by by living experimentations and stuff like that. It's really, uh, you described it really cool. How the fuck do you do that? The mor I just got away. Time it perfectly. The morality in the book is never in question <laughs> so far, and, th and that's what I really like about it. He's just unapologetically evil, but he, but he the question of good and evil is just not a thing in that book, he's, which is cool. He's just he's just doing. It. But he's also I talked about this. He's immune, so he has these. He has these, uh, these sort of very high class. Whoa! He has these very high class sort of sensibilities because that's just how they are. Species, yeah. Species. It's awesome. I just got through a um, a passage where, where where they're dealing with this sort of underground trade thing. They 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 do this thing where they they have this clandestine group where they they hold these big. Oh, what? What's that? What's that? They have these clan clandestine parties on a on a moon where. where what does the clandestine mean? It, it means that it's, um, secret. Yeah. It's a secret and sort of exclusive. Um, but they they hold these these sort of parties where where everybody who is something in the in in the underground of the galaxy can can come and make deals with the. 
with whoever they want, really, and, and they have these spiegel, there's alcohol, and frisky women, and uh, frisky women, and, and like it, like on audible.com. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, uh, and, and they have they have these gladiatorial arenas, and, and uh, by now, receive a frisky woman in the mail <laughs> by tomorrow, and a Ukrainian travel agent, and a U- by now, receive frisky <laughs> women, audible dot com, frisky German women, German women, yes, newly shaved, newly, sh- yes, yes, we they <laughs> they grow wool for winter. <laughs> <laughs> when it's cold out, they fly to the warmer countries, and that's where we capture them and strip them of all their fur, and make nice coats and their belongings. And their belongings. Whoa, little Whoa. too close. To, <laughs> little too close <laughs> to reality. There. Good job. You know, Thank I learned. You. I learned a new word today. Yeah. Yeah. Clandestine. Yeah, that too. I learned two new words today. I learned that in the fifties, you said, uh, you know what, uh, uh, squeezes. Is squeeze. My main squeeze. Yeah, my main squeeze. Yeah, that's your girl. I did not know that. Did you not? No, but a squeeze is not your your main girl. A squeeze is kind of like a side chick. Oh, when you say, uh, I love my girlfriend a lot, but Jesus Christ, my squeeze just got this new uh, oh. water bed. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I that's, am, that's pretty. That's pretty. Cool. The Sphinx, the Sphinx-inator. <laughs> We already did this, but I'm sending to do it again for the gems. <laughs> oh, the Sphinxinator. Maybe I'll go back to that. That's oh, I, call, I don't. I don't want that. That's what I call my doctor every time I get a prostate exam. <laughs> the Sphinxinator. The Sphinxinator. <laughs> Just give me the Sphinxinator, doc. <laughs> I am the Sphinxinator. My name. My doctor's name is Dan. He's oh. really cool. <laughs> The engine. He's, he's my squeeze. Gee. Really? <laughs> no. It really? No, no, but he's my go-to. He's not, he's not under the, the Cortex Foundation Denzel. Uh, no, he is not. <laughs> no, no. The Denzel program. Yeah, no. Oof. Buy yourself some, uh, some he, glass. He has even less teeth than Cortex did. He has three teeth. Too. How do we have three teeth? He also has a rocket in his brain. But it's the three teeth that... Oh, oh this looks cool. We're in the future now. This looks cool. This is Coruscant. Coruscant? No, it's not. No, it's not. Jedi Temple is right over there to the left. Oh! That's Anakin, Anakin's gonna drop right next to you in a minute. You know that shitty scene where they yes. fall? Yes. <laughs> no, yes. Jesus Christ. That's one, that's one of the scenes I had uh, I blocked out of my memory. Uh, from, from I, I watched it recently. And um, and the worst part is I love you, McGregor. Yeah, yeah, same here, same here. And and, and I was taken aback by how he's he's being such a charming, lovable scamp and in, in, in throughout the whole movie. Yeah. Really. But every scene with Hayden Christensen is just abhorrent. It's bad. It's really, really bad. It's bad. It's really, really bad. You know what's not bad? Next time on Rock Bottom? Audible.com. Oh, <laughs> it's, oh, oh, I just stop, dude. <laughs> no, we can get a brand deal. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> that should not be our main goal. No. Man. I wear this nice German wool coat. <laughs> oh, Women's so wool. It's a little bit of bratwurst stuck in one of oh, them. Oh, oh, that is not. See, this is where Crash 2 would have hidden like a Nitro or TNT in there. Yeah. This is a little more forgiving, thankfully. Yeah. Do you have to go and kill some Jedi children in a minute? No. No. Don't be a dark child. Uh, Crash. Uh, Crash, would, uh, uh, Crash would be a good Jedi. Oh, um, we also talked about how how there's a, um, a lot of people who think that uh, that's a community of Snoke from uh, Supreme Leader Snoke from 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 the Force Awakens is uh, is actually Plagueis. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! No, they think he's Plagueis. Yeah. But nothing has been confirmed so far. I mean, even Andy Serkis, who played Snoke, said that, nah, it's not the Did Andy Serkis play Snoke? Yeah. That's cool. I had no idea. I love Andy Serkis. Yeah. He's really cool. He is really no, but, uh, cool. But, but the thing is, they're, um, so the music in, in episode 3, when, uh, when, when Sidious, uh, uh, Palpatine, uh, <laughs> tells, spoiler, <laughs> when, when, when Palpatine tells Anakin off, to do it. Off. <laughs> no, not that scene. When when they're watching the the weird uh, water show that's sort of reminiscent of Blitzball. Yeah. They um he tells Anakin of of Plagueis and how he was uh, he was apparently able to stop the people he loved from dying. Uh, to goad Anakin into uh, into being his his Vader. Uh, his Vader. His Vader. 
the music in that scene is very, very reminiscent of, oh, well, the other way around, really, Snoke's theme. That yeah, was that's cool. That is pretty cool. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Why does uh, uh, Sidious have a weird accent in the Falls on uh, Force Unleashed games? He has a weird accent. Does he? Yes. I don't remember that. He has a very, very weird accent. A little German accent. Maybe. But he, but he also did as the he sort of croaked when he was the emperor when he was just regular old Chief Palpatine. He uh, his name is Chief. Is it Chief? Chief? Chief Palpatine. Chief Palpatine. Wow. Yeah. I, wow. <laughs> Next time. That was a sort of weird momentum. <laughs> Next time on Rock Bottom. I had a weird oh, momentum. Oh, it's good to be back. Uh, See ya. See ya. Bye.